and relax. And good afternoon, everybody. We're in a different venue today because I need an oven. <laughs> and uh, we're continuing on with our theme of Disney. And apparently, because I've never been, one of the things that they actually offer at Disneyland are Disney pretzels. So we've just made some there that I'm going to pop into the oven. They'll take about 12 minutes. That's a preheated oven, 200 degrees. I'm having a lot of trouble with my phone because it's a fingerprint and my fingerprints keep messing, getting messed up with dough. So not ideal. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put it for 12 minutes and they should come out golden brown. Oh, let's start that. Very good. Thank okay. you, everyone, for joining us. We are so excited to be doing this from home. <laughs> it's our version of working from home. Was right? that was that audible or do I? Yeah, need... yeah, no. yeah. They can hear me. Okay, awesome, <laughs> fantastic. Yes. So yes, we're we're doing it from home, but uh, let me just introduce a few of the things that we are using that. Uh, that go into this recipe. Okay, so most of you know that we've been doing this campaign with Disney, and you can see the blue Disney sticker on here. And what we wanted to do was to take the vegetables that we have with the Disney sticker and see if we could make some nice healthy snack for you out of that. Um, the theme, of course, was. Uh, the Disney pretzel. So what I've done is uh, I've interrupted the pretzel program on the Thermomix and I've added in 100 to 120 grams of carrot, depending on the size of your carrot. So it's, it's about one medium-sized carrot. And we're taking our new bread flour and, of course, our very nice Himalayan rock salt. Uh, I've got organic milk, and I'm trying to stop it sticking with our olive oil. Our favorite olive oil. Our favorite olive oil, that's right. And I've just sprinkled it. I don't know if you caught that, but I sprinkled it with black seeds. That's nigella sativa or nigella sativa, depending on your pronunciation. And these are the seeds that are then pressed to make black seed oil. That's the, the black seed oil that actually is incredibly beneficial. Mine is used, so you can't even see the gold leaf anymore. Incredibly beneficial for people who suffer from asthma and uh, just really supportive of the immune system because of the thymocrinone in it. So that's those are the seeds that we've used. Very, very good rep. If you take a look at sensin.com.sg, there's some information on there about the black seeds, the Nigella sativa, and you can have a look through. Uh, they basically help just about every condition there is, but I've been uh, taking the oil now for quite a while because of my asthma, so, and it really helps. So I haven't had any bad fits recently at all. Have, you haven't heard me, have you? No, no. no. <laughs> so heartily recommend these. Uh, as a wonderful addition to your diet, you can sprinkle them on salads, you can sprinkle them on breads. Uh, they really are delicious, okay, because they're kind of spicy as well. So that's our new black seeds. That's our new bread flour. That's our wonderful uh, Thai carrot, this beautiful golden carrot. And you can see this is... The bread dough, the resulting bread dough, is quite sticky, so I'm going to have to put a little bit of uh, flour on so it doesn't stick to me. You can see the color of that. That's the color of the carrot has actually colored the dough. And the first time I did this, my, my son is actually very keen on bread mating, making, and I, I sent him a picture, and he said, oh, wonderful colored dough. What's that? <laughs> it's carrot, and it's very, very simple. Um, because all you have to do, later we're going to show them 
a little bit of what we did before. Yes, we've, we've, taken, we've taken photos along yeah. the way. Yes, to show you how it got from white to this that's nice right. that's yellow, right. orangey colour. That's right. And of course, we've sprinkled uh, salt on the pretzels because that's very traditional. And we also have um, a few dips to have with. Uh, I've made using this raw organic thyme honey, which is another thing that's very good for the respiratory system. Uh, using this Spanish organic raw honey, I have combined it with our crunchy peanut butter. Mm. So this one is honey and peanut butter so that's to dip the pretzels in later that's honey and peanut butter this one is mustard and sour cream and again the same honey and then in the freezer here i have another one made with our beautiful bananas mm. and again honey and sour cream so i'm actually quite looking forward to the pretzels coming out the oven because i want to try the dips <laughs> the dips are very healthy. It's not um, like oh, absolutely. sweet Let's... chocolate. It's all natural. Um, like our peanut butter is 100% peanut butter. Yes. And and the honey itself, I mean, it's a well-known remedy for flu, thyme honey. So that's another thing to think about. Organic raw honey. Remember, once you start cooking with honey, you actually destroy the good properties. So you want to have raw honey organic raw honey if you can possibly manage it so oh, this, and did you say banana dip yes so banana is one of our participating products as well yes so for all of those who have not been following us <laughs> <laughs> um we have a disney campaign where um five of the participating items when you buy them to at least what 120 dollars in zensin you get a free eco bag. We love this. It's so useful. It is very Sh useful. Shall we show it? And it's all very, it's very strong. Uh, I know because I took a whole batch of bottles down to one of our customers in it and it, it survived very well. Sorry, it's a bit crumpled because we've been using it. And it <laughs> starts back into this little square bag here. Ta-da! So you can use this. This is part of us trying to save the earth. Use That's less nice. plastic. Yeah. So use the eco bag. And sh Fun. show how it goes into the pocket because it's very easy to just pop into a handbag. You really don't need much at all. Much space in your handbag, that is. So basically, you could just stuff it all into this pocket, which is why. I mean, you could fold it, but <laughs> we're just going to stuff it. <laughs> And it's why it's so crumpled. Because we don't have time. Right? Yes. And there you go. <laughs> Back in the little pocket. Very good. So we have been sending out these bags to our customers who have done the spin and win. So I do hope that people are receiving because no one has been tagging us with their goods. So if you're watching, <laughs> please tag us and show us that you have received the bag. Ta-da. That's nice. Okay. Let you get on with your program. <laughs> Um, I've got another four, four minutes, 44 seconds until the pretzels will be done. Shall we show them how we did it? Okay. Okay. So the dough is a bit sticky and uh, I'm not being very kind to it because I've actually put the air con on because I'm a bit hot today. Bread doesn't really like air con. It's better if you can make it in the warm and exclude all drafts. So... Um, I've just been rolling out portions of the dough, the carrot dough, and measuring it around this bowl so they're all roughly the same size. It's not behaving wonderfully, as you can probably see. <laughs> but we're making do. And the end result tastes good because I made it last week. So I know the taste is there. There we go. Just roll it out a bit more. As even as possible. It's not that easy, but uh, as even as possible for the pretzel. Then we just take the bowl, pop it round like that, pinch it together, and then I've got two little pieces for the ears. So I've got a rough circle there, like that. Can you see? <laughs> Yep. Okay. 
And then I have two little pieces for the ears. Roll them out a little bit more. And then stick them into the main one. There we go. And then another one. And stick that in again to the main one. So it's just three little circles. It's very, very simple. And I think probably the kids could have a lot of fun doing that. Then the next step is a bit tricky. Normally speaking, pretzels would, of course, be made with rye, but that's a bit of a dangerous substance. And instead of using rye, we're actually using bicarb. So there's about a liter of water and three tablespoons of sodium bicarbonate. And then we're just dipping that in for about 10 seconds to give it a nice coating because that's what will give it a really nice brown color. And it is tricky, I warn you. I am not thrilled. <laughs> but it really does, it's worth it for the brown color. So you just pop it in gently like that. And then let's see if my phone will wake up again. Actually, I've got the timer on for the, for the pretzel. So I'll just count. I've got- Do we want to show what's happening there? Ten. But mm. I need to get across. <laughs> Can you get through? <laughs> I just got to oh. shift the light. Careful, careful. Oh, okay. Hang on, before I move there, let me change. Okay. Okay. So there's the Mickey, there's the dough in there. And this is bicarb. You can probably see it splashed around a bit as I've gone in and out. And it's just under the boil now. And I'm gonna pop it in and basically I'm gonna to count to 12. So in it goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's coming out. Okay, and I'm going to put it there because the other tray that I've got, in fact, you can probably have a look there. Those are the pretzels coming in the oven. So these were the ones that we did earlier. Those are the, the ones, ones yeah. <laughs> you guys do eat. Okay. And that's oiled uh, greaseproof paper. And that's really necessary because otherwise, because we've just dipped it in the bicarb, it will stick to the paper if you don't oil it. So my first batch, I actually had to peel the paper off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so what happens now after we have soaked it in the bicarb? Okay, well that's the that's the pretzels coming out. So what I'm going to do is take this batch out, and then I will pop it onto the cleared paper. Ooh, okay. So, ah, oh, so cute. <laughs> I think we make them a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> they look a little bit like teddy. Okay, so we now have to leave them basically to cool. So guys, remember this is made with carrot, chopped carrots. Very so, finely chopped carrots. Yes. Yeah. So we are trying to show you that you can make non-fatty pretzels that yep. you'll find outside like donuts, you know. Yeah. You can use organic healthy ingredients. So this is a very similar concept to our noodles, which again is wheat flour and 20% organic puree. So we've, we've taken a, a carrot puree essentially. <laughs> I may have to be patient and wait for Do them to, really cool? to cool. I can't wait I can to get eat. them off. No, I'm going to have to be patient. I'm naughty. I always... So, so while we wait for it to cool, shall we tell our audience how did we make this through our little photo story that we have? Sure. Go for it. It's not difficult, really. I think I can do it too. And yep. I have no talent at all in ah! cooking slash baking. <laughs> My Apple Watch agrees. 
Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> yes, today is very warm, so Terry is sweating buckets because yeah. she's <laughs> trying not to turn on the air condition for the pretzels. We had to in the end though, didn't we really? Yeah. Carrie, you want to let it cool first? Oh, I don't. I want to eat it, but there you go. <sighs> okay, I'll show them our little slideshow. Yep. So here we have the dough from before. We um, formed them into little cute little Mickey ears. And then this is how we did it. First, we have some chopped carrots. So we did about 120 grams, right? 100 to 120 grams. It's one, mm. one of the medium Thai carrots. Yes. And then we chopped it using the thermal mix. And then in here, we already have um, milk and uh, yeast. And then we pop the carrots in. Give it a blend. That's how we can see that when we blend the carrots, it becomes this nice yellow orangey color. This is the flour that we are using. So we popped about 600 grams, right? 600 grams of flour. Correct, flour. yes. And then um, two tablespoons of salt. No, teaspoons. Oh, teaspoons, I'm sorry. <laughs> two, two teaspoons of salt. Him Himalayan rock salt, that yes, was. Yes, we are using the Himalayan rock salt salt um, that is available in Zensin and we love it. It's so versatile and it's yummy. So And it's a pretty color. It's pink. <laughs> so put all that in and then put on the knit for two minutes. So for those of you who own a Thermomix uh, and a Cookie Do subscription, you can use the pretzel uh, recipe. recipe, right? And just stock it after the stage where you have uh, fermented the yeast with the milk okay so after that step where you've had it i think for two minutes at 37 degrees mm -hmm. then you just pop in the peeled carrot and uh, cut it small and then 30 seconds on speed 10 will chop it uh, very nicely so that it will just be coloring rather than bits Okay, and then next, after you knead for two minutes, this is how it's going to look like. You get this gorgeous color. And then you just have to pop it into a bowl that has been pre-oiled so it doesn't stick. And there you have it. Then you start rolling and um, forming them into cute little Mickey ears. Did I tell the story right? Yes. <laughs> and while I was telling the story, you can see our very <laughs> cute... Uh, Mickey shaped pretzels are out from the oven, uh, cooling right in front of you. I love the color, and I'm so happy that we didn't use any coloring. No it's... coloring necessary. Yeah, you can do exactly the same with beetroot. Mm -hmm. So this this ba this basic uh, recipe is very very easy to use uh, with any of your organic vegetables i'm sure you can do it with pumpkin although pumpkin is a bit more watery beetroot i'm sure you could do i'm sure you could even take and make a, a puree of the hong kong, hong kong yes exactly yep exactly so we're going to show you the simple one because it's the carrot is i guess easier to handle very very easy yes otherwise i'd get pink dye everywhere <laughs> True, if you use beetroot, be careful. Make sure it doesn't get on your clothes. Very good. Okay, so yes, I'm going to... Yes, Joanne, the 12 seconds soaked in bicarb soda is to um, crisp the pretzels. Yes. So that it will be very nice and crunchy later. And I'm excited. Okay, Carrie, are you ready? Uh... I'm not sure that we can actually get the the pretzels off, but we can try. Yep. So it takes a little bit of cooling, and um, it's a bit warm here, so it's gonna take some time. Beetroot color will not stay red when cooked. That's what Joanne is asking. No, it, it goes brown. But it, remember, we're only cooking them for 12 minutes, so um, it will just give a more... I think, I think it will still have a bit of a pink. 
So here I am being far too impatient, peeling off the paper, <laughs> which at least is peeling off better than my first batch without any oil. There we go. I'm sure if you were patient and waited for it, it would be much better, but I'm not, and I want to taste it with our dips. Okay. I do. I am excited about the dips. I love that they're all organic, and we didn't add any sugar in them, right? Only I've only used honey. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So it's it's suitable for young kids, old people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You want to show one to the camera? Pick it up. There. Nah. <laughs> it is cute. It looks. It's a little bit fat. It looks like a teddy bear. I like teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want a smaller pretzel, uh, roll a thinner dough. Yes, absolutely. Roll it thinner. <laughs> I, I've seen various forms of the Mickey pretzel. I saw an enormously chunky one, and I've, I've seen thin ones as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So now we get to taste. As I mentioned, this is the chunky peanut butter with the organic raw honey. This is the mustard with sour cream and, again, the organic raw honey. And the other one is sour cream, banana, and, again, the raw honey. So I hope that you will agree that these are also very healthy dips. Faith, you need to taste, don't right? Of course. I just want to eat. Would, would you like an ear? <laughs> we are killing the Mickey already. We're killing the Mickey already. Which, which which would you like? I'll put I'll stick a spoon in each. There you go. I... Yummy. So I'm eating from behind the camera, guys. <laughs> Look. You're gonna try it without first, Steve. Yes. Okay. Give you a plate. There you go. Civilized. Hmm. Chewy. Nice. And it's crunchy. I love it. Okay, good. Oh. And although the carrots were chopped raw, cooked raw, but they don't taste like raw carrot. No. And it's a very subtle sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going for peanut butter. All right. How should I do this? Yeah, that's your plate. So, dipping it with peanut butter. And I'm going to have the banana. Mm, oh, so good with the dip. Yeah? Good. Mm. So, good. those with children, please try it. You know, I think it's a good um, bonding activity. And then they can bring it to school. That's right. The bananas are amazing. So that's sour cream. Actually, it's creme fraiche. Organic creme fraiche, of course. And uh, organic bananas. And I have some more pretzel. Of course. There. <laughs> I'll try the banana. Mm. Let me know what you think. The banana will go with the peanut butter as well. How do you do the dips? Mm. Oh, so good. Just blend them. I love it. Nice, so right? blend the banana with... Yeah, mm. with the sour cream and the honey. Oh, I love it. I did it very quickly in the Thermomix before I started on the uh, pretzel mixture. Mm. And I'm going to try the mustard because I'm very fond of that mustard. So in case people oh. can see the... Mm. Let me show them the banana. Yep. It's very simple. It's very, very nice. I wish you guys can have some. <laughs> oh, you know, you can always use your own dip. You can, if you need a little bit of sweetness, melt your own chocolate. It's the mustard one. 
It's a very nice fruity mustard. Peanut butter. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just going to do the last three Mickeys. Mm -hmm. Pop all the spatch in. It's basically um, less than 20 minutes you can do this. The, the dough takes 45 to rise, though. So I've actually got another batch over here. So I made one yesterday and then punched it down and popped it in the refrigerator. And this is the one that I made this morning. You can see it's doubled in size. It's fantastic. So that's ready for the next look. <laughs> we'll be eating pretzels. For lunch day. and dinner. <laughs> that's, that's funny. But remember, when, when you're trying to have that bread rise, you do need to keep it in a warm place. So that's why I put it in the corner, well away from the aircon. Joanne asks, how do we keep the banana to stay, you know, creamy without it turning brown? Um, I popped it in the freezer. So I made it this morning and popped it in the freezer. So uh, it's very cold, isn't it? You'll notice, Faith. Yes. Yes. I love it. It's very cold. And that, that's how I stopped it going brown. Because I pop thought, it in the freezer. I thought, oh, gosh, if I do this early, it's going to go brown. And I thought, oh, no, if I pop it in the freezer, it should be okay. <laughs> so that's what I did. See, school is closed for a week next week for PSLE marking days. See, this is the perfect opportunity to do this with your kids. All right. It's really easy. Uh, would you share the recipe for the dip? A spoonful of peanut butter and a spoonful of honey <laughs> and mix together with a spoon. Um, mm. say, say, I mean, it's just, it, they're very simple. I, I took uh, three bananas, three squeezes of cream fresh and um, <laughs> honey. I mean, you know how I cook. It's, 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 it's I, I taste it, right? Sorry, Margaret, we can't, <laughs> that's not an actual <laughs> recipe because Carrie has winged it, but, <laughs> but it's really it, it's, simple. It's really simple. I mean, depending how much you want of the, the peanut butter, one or two spoonfuls mm -hmm. and one or two spoonfuls of the honey. So it's a nice, sweet peanut butter. Uh, I took two spoonfuls of the mo mustard and added about the same amount of sour cream and, again, uh honey to taste because i i mean i i basically make it and then taste it and with the bananas i know there were three bananas and three squeezes of the mm -hmm. creme fraiche and then um honey again to taste so very very simple dips oh uh, margaret has a thermomix see even easier yeah <laughs> no problem yep I think the, the banana one is mainly just um, chopping, blend it, blending it I, up. I blended it in the Thermomix. Yeah. I, I did. Very, very quickly. Very easy. Super easy. Okay. So um, I'm just going to show them one last time. Shall we show them one last sure. time? Sure. This cute little... Um, oh, oh. <laughs> we broke the ear. I lost the ear off that one. Okay. And so I'm... if you let it cool... If you're patient, I'm it's not, a I'm lot not. easier to take off. Yes. So, And don't forget to oil the greaseproof paper because otherwise it's a devil to get off. Yep. Kids will love banana dips and with chocolate. Yep. Yes. <laughs> there. Yay. There you go. So there you go. So cute. So we sprinkled some salt and um, black seeds on it, right? Yes. That was, those were the black yep. seeds. So you, you give it a little yep. bit of a crunch. Those are our new black seeds. The Jella Sativa, very, very, very good for you. And, of course, the black seed oil is also available online. If you have asthma like me, you'll find that it really helps. Mm -hmm. It will also help, apparently, according to studies in Pakistan, with COVID recovery. So that's something to remember uh -huh. as well, okay? Yep. So if any of you guys try this recipe at home, please, please show us your pictures and creation. Yep. Be creative, especially with the dips. You can do any kind of dips you want. And we have already provided you a nice pretzel recipe. Easy to incorporate. So I hope you guys enjoy. Yep. 
Shall Easy. we go offline now? Yeah. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Joanne, we Margaret. Doing the live very Lovely much. I hope you, you guys missed us too. We're just going to finish off making the ears and set the last, last batch in, okay? The black seed oil, you drink up a spoon? Yes. One teaspoonful in the morning on an empty stomach is what I take. All right. And Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Margaret, for commenting. We love you guys. We see you again soon. Yep, we'll be back with something else interesting to share with you in a couple of weeks' time, right, Faye? Well, yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully in two weeks. <laughs> okay. Okay, goodbye, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And I can't seem to press the button to end this <laughs> because my hands are dirty.